Can you just introduce yourself? Okay, my name is uh, Philip Sinclair. And just tell me a bit more about the work you're doing um, and the work you've done in One Wild Woods. So basically, in the summer of last year, I decided that I was going to film a, um, a paranormal TV show for YouTube. Um, I didn't expect it to be quite a success it's become, but uh, that's what I've been doing. I've decided to investigate the Wunwell Woods um, just because of the stories I've heard from the Wunwell Woods. Um, the Convicts Tunnel, I've heard that was the um, a quite an interesting place to go, so I've investigated there. And, and why that area? Just why, why just for the um, the stories I've heard. I've, I've bought many books. I've researched books, and they've said that that comics tunnel's got a lot of history, and, and that's where I went. I investigated there. So. And it's understood that there's been quite a lot of murders and suicides. Yeah, there, so, yeah. so they say, and, and there has been reports of murders and suicides there. It's quite strange how you know that that's the go-to place to do that kind of thing. But what did you actually do when you were there? Were it, was it about filming or was it more about more of the investigation? Just more about the investigation. Um, I do this just for my own curiosity. I search the paranormal. I mean, everybody out there has had claims. They can't all be liars. So I go out and I just investigate, see what I can find. And, and what did you actually find? Just, um, just, just. I, I use a device called the Ovilus, which is, um, which scans the air for a, a EMF, electrical magnetic field, and that. And if there is a presence of a ghost, this is said that the, the ghost can use this energy to talk, basically. And I was asking questions, and it seemed to be answering direct to my questions. Strange noises were happening is always something was trying to make itself known. So quite odd, really. So you'd say there's paranormal activity in, in so, one world? Well, I'm, I'm quite half and half. I wouldn't say it was it is paranormal, but I've been there a couple of times in Warwell Woods and it's, there's always been something quite odd up in there, what I can't explain. So. And just tell me about other areas you've um, worked in. I know you're doing some work with the Cross Keys Pub in Wath as well. Yeah, I did that on my last investigation. That well, that was quite interesting. Again, a lot of claims have been made there about paranormal activity. Uh, the owners have said to have witnessed paranormal activity. Um, I had an interview with those, the owners, and they they backed the claims up. And another paranormal team have been to that pub and they've. The, on photography they've captured an image of a girl in the back room and I went and again I got the most activity from the devices in that back room so so once you've done the the work in in a certain area what what is the aim is it to put it together and make a make a film or where, where do you sort of share the information basically it's just on a YouTube channel and Facebook I have quite a following where people are interested in what I'm doing um, and just basically, it's just what I do, I'm, I'm out for about three, four hours, maybe five hours and I compile it all, the best evidence, into a 40-30 minute show for the YouTube audience just to have a watch and quite enjoy it. That's great, that's mm. pretty much all I need to yeah. be honest. Brilliant. Yeah. Great stuff, thanks for coming. Right. Brilliant.